The moment the array formation disappeared, the other two immediately sent a signal to ask. At this moment, Lang Duankong and Shi Fengchun were really afraid that something would happen to Domingkong again. Fortunately, Domingkong replied to them immediately, allowing them to heave a sigh of relief. Senior, what's going on? Guard your territory well. I don't know what goal this human has, but it's obvious that he wants to destroy our array formation. There was no need for them to guard this array formation anymore. Two of them had already been broken. From the moment the first array formation was broken, their array formation no longer had any value. However, this has become a very good bait. If he could use this technique to lure that kid to his death, it seemed to be a good choice. This human is really lawless. He actually dares to bully us. This kid is really too arrogant. I must find him, Lang Duankong said angrily. Shi Fengchuan's face was ashen as he said unhappily, If you think that you have the strength to steal the array formation under the nose of Senior, then I agree with your words very much. However, from the looks of it, this human strength can't be underestimated. I'm afraid that the three of us can barely resist him if we join forces. It was obvious that Xiong Batian had died without even sending a distress signal. There was no need to say anything about this person's strength. Initially, they were still hoping that they would be lucky. But from the looks of it, this kind of hope was not good. This time, it was like a warning from that person. If that person attacked one of them directly this time, what would happen to them? It was unimaginable. Lang Duankong thought about it. Sure Feng Chun was completely right. He was telling the weakest one in the team to be careful because that person's next target was definitely him. Moreover, that human had already dared to extend his claws to Deming Kong. He even used such a despicable method to play to Ming Kong. He was completely looking down on the three of them. This way, there was no reason for Lang Duankong to be arrogant. Since there was such an opportunity, Lang Duankong immediately suggested, in my opinion, we can't let their scheme succeed. Why don't we gather our forces and gather our best troops? Let's destroy these two people first and talk about it in the future. Lang Duankong was only suggesting this. In the end, it still depended on Big Ming Kong. He was very worried. If Senior Du insisted that they continue to split up, then this matter would be very troublesome. De Ming Kong looked at the huge gap in the center of his territory cave. Although he did not want to admit it, his rationality told him that this was the only way they could go. Sure, Feng Chun, the two of us will immediately rush to the territory of the Heavenly Wolf Clan. We must kill this person there. Although these three demons usually fought fiercely, at this point, no one dared to say anything else, nor did they dare to be arrogant. Under the pressure from Li Yuanqing, the three of them chose to gather together. However, De Ming Kong still treated Lang Duankong as bait. If Li Yuanqing's current target was Lang Duankong, they would be able to capture Li Yuanqing there. This way, the two of them could preserve their strength. Even if something really happened to Lang Duankong, the two of them were enough to deal with these two humans. This was indeed a foolproof plan. Lang Duankong did not know what De Ming Kong was thinking. He was secretly glad that he finally had something to rely on. However, what he did not know was that an inconspicuous human had suddenly appeared in their patrol team on the heavily guarded mountain outside his cave. The other demons did not seem to notice anything. They looked around warily because their boss had instructed them that there might be a very dangerous person here. Brothers, cheer up. Look carefully. We can't miss anything here. Boss said that this human is best at disguise. A stone and a tree by the side of the road might be transformed from a human. These humans are extremely cunning. We can't be careless. Li Yuanqing followed the patrol team like a small fry behind them. He was very low-key. The leader of the demons in front continued to shout. These two humans are extremely vicious and have caused great damage to our demon race. If our lord is also dealt with by that human, what kind of situation will we face? These little demons were very nervous now. They had also heard that something had happened to Xiong Batian. The Bear Clan was currently leaderless and was in a mess. The Bear Clan, which had been prosperous for a period of time, could be said to have dominated an area. But now, they have ended up in such a state. It was really lamentable. Although their Heavenly Wolf Clan had a grudge with the Bear Clan for many years, in the face of a great enemy, Everyone was united against a common enemy. No one mentioned the past grudges. 
There was only pity left when they talked about the bear clan. The little demons looked around warily, afraid that a human would suddenly appear and attack them. This human had already become an extremely dangerous existence hidden in the forest in their hearts. At this moment, a little demon walking at the back turned his head and said to his brother behind him, Old ghost, if anything happens later, the two of us have to take care of each other. That human is very powerful. One person can't resist him. His brother behind him had a cloak over his head, so his face could not be seen. He just nodded to himself, his cloak rustling. He turned back to take a look. The brother had wrapped himself tightly and even put on his hat. What's wrong? Are you feeling unwell? You seem to be feeling a little unwell. He looked worriedly at his brother. It was not that he was worried that something would happen to his brother. It was mainly because every bit of combat strength was very critical in this crisis. Nothing could go wrong at this time. When he said this, the person stood there alone. He did not know what had happened to that person. The members of the patrol in front left, and the two of them fell behind. What's wrong? Are you alright? You look strange. Don't scare me. Two humans can appear here at any time. We have to leave quickly. However, no matter what he said, his brother seemed to be deaf. He did not move or answer him. He carefully reached out his hand to the brother's body, a bad feeling rising in his heart. His hand kept trembling as he carefully lifted the cloak from his head. Halfway through, the demon's hand froze on the spot. The cloak hung on a blood-red head woven from vines. This round head did not even have proper facial features. It only had the shape of a head. It had no nose or eyes and looked very scary. The little demon was so frightened that he wanted to cry out in surprise. However, before he could say anything, blood-red vines had already wrapped around his body. His face was completely wrapped into another ball. In just a short while, blood-red vines had spread all over his body, and his entire body had become exactly the same as his brother behind him. The two demons were easily taken down by the blood vine. The blood vine weaved a huge cocoon on the spot and poured their bodies into such a container, constantly devouring their meat. After the little demon was devoured, the two of them walked in another direction one after another. Their actions were very strange. When the leader went a search again, he could no longer find them. Outside the empty cave, there were layers of guards. They were armed in tents. They had to pay attention to every movement outside. They would be able to keenly capture even the slightest movement outside and give out a powerful attack. At this moment, Lang Duankong did not dare to come out of the cave. He was extremely nervous. Sir, in my opinion, Xiong Bat Ian is a rough person. He probably ended up like this because he lost his composure and they found an opportunity to kill him. If we guard tightly now, they will definitely not have the chance to attack. There was a group of strategists standing under the main seat of Lang Duankong. They were here to give him ideas. There seemed to be no other choice in the current situation. As a lord, it was not his style to hide like a turtle. Although he was depressed, he was helpless. Who asked these people to be so domineering? These two people were inexplicably released by Xiong Batian, and now they were causing trouble everywhere. These humans are really bastards. It was wrong to leave one of their roots behind in the past. We should have killed them all long ago. Then there wouldn't be today's matter. Lang Duankong cursed as he felt stifled. My lord, you can't say that. Humans have helped us with many chores over the years. If we destroy them all, we won't be able to find anyone to help us. It might not be a good thing. That's right. But these benefits are ultimately for the people in the city to enjoy. Another strategist said sarcastically, when has a clan like ours ever enjoyed such benefits? Whether humans live or die has nothing to do with us. That's true. His words immediately attracted the approval of many people. The humans being slaves here had created many opportunities for Ping City, Rong City, and Si City. It was not a problem for these demons to live comfortably here. However, the demons outside had never enjoyed these benefits at all. It was hard to say whether there was a need for these humans to stay or not. When the person who spoke at the beginning heard this, he felt that he could not insist on this idea now. So he followed their words and said, Logically speaking, the human race's bloodline has been suppressed by Lord Black Dragon. No matter what, they shouldn't be able to develop anymore. 
let alone have any formation arrangement realm experts. But who knew that they would find such a method? It's really infuriating. In the end, we should have destroyed the entire human race earlier. There wouldn't have been so much trouble. As they spoke, the two guards standing at the side suddenly moved. For some reason, the two guards took a step forward. They didn't know what they were trying to do, but they caught everyone's attention. The strategists in the meeting could not help but look in their direction. These two people emitted a very strange aura that was very annoying. What are you two doing? You don't have any rules at all. Why are you moving around when you're standing guard? However, the two of them had no intention of retreating at all. They still stood there in a daze. However, no one could not see what they looked like inside because they were wearing cloaks. Ha! Huh, did you two not hear me or something? Hurry up and get back to your post. Who found these two? Bring them out. Lang Duankong felt that the auras on these two fellows were very strange. He did not know what was going on. Moreover, ordinary clansmen would have been frightened to death by such a reprimand from them. However, why did the two of them seem to be completely indifferent? It was as if they did not hear such a warning at all and continued to stand there. Lang Duankong felt a little strange. The team leader in front of the two of them looked at Lang Duankong in shame. Patriarch, please calm down. It's my fault for not disciplining them well. That's why the two of them don't know the rules. As he spoke, he turned around and stretched out a huge palm towards the two of them, wanting to slap their faces. Usually, at this time, ordinary members of the Heavenly Wolf Clan would have long peed their pants in fear and run away. However, these two fellows were still standing there obediently, as if they were waiting for this slap to land on their faces. When had they, the upper echelons, ever been contradicted by their subordinates like this? At this moment, they were even more furious. Without hesitation, he slapped the two of them with the intention to slap them to death. As expected, the moment his two palms touched their bodies, they exploded with a bang. These two bodies were like two dried corpses that erupted with white powder that filled the sky. It was very strange. The others only thought that this wolf leader was powerful and directly slapped them into dried corpses. What are you doing? How can you be so cruel? This is our clansman after all. The others did not realize it. But Lang Duankong looked at the place where the two of them had died in surprise. His eyes were wide open. The team leader standing in front of the two of them froze and could not move. In my opinion, we can't vent our anger on our own people. Look, you beat them until there's nothing left of them. Someone, get these remaining things out of here first. At least find a place to bury them like the humans. The team leader had no intention of moving at all. It was not until the two lackeys walked up to him and wanted to drag away the two corpses of their clansmen that they were shocked speechless. The leader's wide eyes were covered in white powder. His mouth was also wide open, but it was also covered by the white powder, like a ceramic statue. He died silently in this hall. The two wolf clan members sat on the ground with a bang and pointed at the statue in front of them in panic. They were so frightened that they could not speak. Ah, he he. Lang Duankong suddenly stood up and his body instantly disappeared from the main seat. The next moment, he arrived in front of this person. He looked at the scene in front of him in shock. One of his subordinates had died just like that, and he had not noticed at all. This person had died silently. However, what shocked him even more was what happened next. The ceramic-covered mouth of the subordinate leader suddenly cracked. A very sharp red vine extended from the mouth. This red vine was like a sharp sword as it stabbed towards his face. Lang Duankong shouted and suddenly placed his two wolf claws at the front, pulling the red vine. Fortunately, he had reacted quickly and was decisive just now. Otherwise, he would have been stabbed to death. The body of the leader in front of him had also turned into powder like the two lackeys just now. Their tattered clothes were scattered on the ground, and the three of them died in the same way. Lang Duankong suddenly rushed over, wanting to capture the red vines that had escaped just now. If one looked carefully, there was a circular hole in the ground. The blood vine had just dug a tunnel to escape. The hole was very smooth and did not shake the ground, so it was inconspicuous. Lang Duankong quickly grabbed the back half of the red vine. Although the blood vine was very bold, he was only in the spirit transformation realm. 
He actually dared to attack a formation arrangement realm expert. However, the difference in strength was obvious. He was actually grabbed behind his butt. Lang Duankong suddenly exerted strength and pulled the entire blood vine out of the ground and threw it onto the ceiling. The huge blood vine that was more than 10 meters long was pulled out by the roots. What is this? What is this? Why is it filled with an evil aura? My lord, are you alright? For a moment, the entire werewolf clan was in chaos. The fortress that they had thought was impregnable had been easily broken through and such a terrifying thing had appeared in front of them. Just now, a fellow clansman was gone just like that. This person was still alive and well just now, but now, he was dead. Moreover, even their lord was almost ambushed. These humans were really despicable. All his subordinates surrounded Lang Duankong. Just as Lang Duankong was about to heave a sigh of relief, he suddenly felt a fear from the bottom of his heart that made him subconsciously let go of the blood vine in his hand. However, it was still too late. He looked down at his chest in disbelief. A black sword emerged from the front of his chest, the other end hidden in his chest. Lang Duankong was about to resist when he looked up. The scenery in front of him suddenly changed into a very tall snow mountain. The snow mountain stood tall in the clouds, and its tall figure made him unable to breathe. Lang Duankong did not know where he had landed. In fact, he could not sense any spiritual energy in this empty world. This bit of spiritual energy seemed to be completely monopolized by someone, emitting a unique aura. Lang Duankong stammered and wanted to speak, but his chest had been pierced by such a long sword. Blood kept gushing out of his throat, and he could no longer say a complete sentence. Amidst the blood spreading in his throat, a blood-red vine stretched out from his throat. Finally, it spread out with his mouth as a point and wrapped his entire body. The lord of the heavenly wolf clan, Lang Duankong, had died silently in Li Yuanqing's domain. No one saw his miserable death. Outside the hinterlands of the heavenly wolf clan, everyone looked at each other. They did not know what had happened. Where did our lord go? Where's the patriarch? Where did our patriarch go? Didn't the patriarch stay here just now? Why is he gone just like that? Where did he go? Is there no news at all? The Heavenly Wolf Clan was instantly in a panic. They were all searching for Lang Duankong's whereabouts, but he was gone just like that without leaving any news. Their search was in vain because their boss, Lang Duankong, had already become a piece of meat in someone else's stomach. Just as everyone was searching anxiously, an old wolf with grayish white fur on its back suddenly stumbled in with a jade token. Patriarch, Patriarch. Where is he? Everyone looked at the old wolf in surprise. Senior, the patriarch was here just now, but he suddenly disappeared. Do you know where he went? The old wolf held the jade plate in front of everyone with a sorrowful expression. The patriarch's soul tablet has been destroyed. The patriarch is gone. What? How is that possible? The patriarch was here just now. Impossible. This is impossible. All of this is fake. None of them were willing to believe such an outcome. They had just seen the lively patriarch in front of them, but now, someone had suddenly come over and told them that the patriarch was already dead. How is this possible? He was clearly alive and well just now. It was impossible for him to die. However, the jade token in the old wolf's hand was really extinguished. There was no light on it at all, and it had completely dimmed. This did seem to be conclusive evidence that Lang Duankong was no longer alive. However, they still found it difficult to imagine and accept such an outcome. They did not even think of resisting. They did not remember what had just happened to them. How could they avoid that terrifying scene? They were so engrossed in their grief that they sank into it. They had no idea when a figure had appeared in the sky. Li Yuanqing floated quietly at the top of the cave like a god. His body emitted a faint fluorescent light as he looked down at the living beings in the world. The violent shaking woke everyone up. They realized that the ground under their feet was trembling. It was as if the entire mountain was shaking with it. There's an earthquake. What earthquake? The mountain is clearly collapsing. They panicked. They frantically searched for their way out. A huge rock descended from the sky and blocked the way out. Moreover, a majestic force enveloped them all, making them unable to move. 
All of them finally seemed to realize that they were in danger and were about to follow their patriarch and disappear from the world. Li Yuanqing dealt with Lang Duancong without any effort. The array formation below was quite important. After he gathered these four array formations, he could build a complete array formation himself. It was a good harvest. However, since these people were all gathered here, Li Yuanqing planned to put them into his domain with the array formation. They would become nourishment for the blood vine. The man-eating vine was currently guarding Ping City and rarely went out with Li Yuanqing, as if she had lost his favor. These benefits now fell on the blood vine, whose strength had improved by leaps and bounds recently. However, the man-eating vine had devoured too much energy and the energy in her body was too complicated. She still needed some time to accumulate and calm down. The many leaders of the Heavenly Wolf Clan were all powerful existences outside in the past. However, they became pitiful creatures that could not move and could only shout everywhere. Under Li Yuanqing's immense power, they could not resist at all. They could only kneel down and beg for mercy, looking at Li Yuanqing in the sky as if they were looking at a god. It was only at this moment when they were begging for their lives that they finally noticed Li Yuanqing who was standing in the sky. Sir, Please let us go, sir. Sir, this has nothing to do with us. Let us go. Mercy, sir. However, their shouts were useless. To Li Yuanqing, these people's lives were worthless. Li Yuanqing's huge power uprooted the entire array formation and brought all the supporting facilities away. Even the people standing on it were brought into his territory. When they arrived in Li Yuanqing's domain space, they happened to see the wolf that had revealed its true form and its huge body being corroded by the blood vines. At this moment, they finally understood why his aura had disappeared. My lord, the patriarch is actually here. The patriarch is already dead. We're going to die too. They shouted in despair, but from this moment on, they no longer had any possibility of escaping. What awaited them here was the fate of being slowly devoured by the blood vine. The blood vine was in a hurry to digest the flesh and blood of Lang Duancong, so he could not care about them for the time being. These few people were sealed in this place that was like a floating island. There were two other floating islands. These three islands floated in midair like three cages. However, the other two islands were empty. There was no one here, and there were dozens of powerful heavenly wolf clansmen locked up here. De Ming Kong and Shi Feng Chun, who were halfway there, suddenly stopped. The two of them looked in the direction of the Heavenly Wolf Clan's territory with dark expressions. Senior, that Lang Duancong is already gone. How could he die so quickly? Deming Kong did not know what had happened at all. According to their calculations, the two of them had already tried their best to rush over. No matter how powerful this human was, it was impossible for him to kill Lang Duancong in such a short period of time. But from the looks of it, the two of them had underestimated the strength of this human. They had just received the distress signal from the Heavenly Wolf Clan when news of Lang Duancong's death came. Senior, are we still going there? I'm afraid it's meaningless to go over now, and we might fall into the trap of the humans. Even though the two of them were powerful, they still couldn't help but hesitate when facing the equally unfathomable humans. The reason why the Ming Kong could live so long and be so powerful was naturally because of his sharp judgment. Since Lang Duancong was already dead, there doesn't seem to have any value in them rushing over. From the looks of it, there seemed to be only one way for the two of them to choose. Da Minkonkan's face darkened. He looked at Shur Fengchuan's Dharma idol in the sky and said, From the looks of it, we have to fight these two humans to the death. Then how should we do it? These two humans are powerful and must have a tacit understanding. We still have to gather and discuss carefully. Even though the two of them were powerful, they did not dare to be arrogant anymore. The tragic death of these two brothers had already reminded them. If they still did not realize how powerful these humans were, only death would await them. After the two of them discussed, they decided that they definitely couldn't meet up at the territory of Lang Duancong. Now, the two of them sped towards each other at their fastest speed. Their clansmen had completely given up their original territory. Now, they all accepted their arrangements and gathered on an inconspicuous mountain outside Ping City. This mountain was only 50 miles away from Ping City, and it was not tall. However, at this moment, 
Hundreds of thousands of demons had gathered there from four directions. These demons all rushed over, be it the idle bear men or the few werewolf troops. They all accepted the final arrangements and rushed over. The people of Ping City did not know what was happening outside, but looking at the situation, they knew that a huge battle was inevitable. City Lord, this is bad. The demons have all gathered. From the looks of it, they plan to make a final attack. City Lord, bad news. How can we defend against the demon army? Battle reports kept coming in front of Hu Jujiu. However, none of these battle reports were good news. They were all about the actions of the demons outside. Ever since the demons surrounded the outside, the people in Ping City had firmly carried out Hu Jujiu's orders to defend and counterattack. They tried to control the movements of the demons outside to protect Ping City. However, not everyone was so confident in such a defense. There were still many people who gradually lost their confidence as time passed. In the face of the powerful demons, they were doubting their strength step by step. Read more on NoonZeroVel slash org. They did not believe that the city lord manor led by Hu Jujio and her guards could resist hundreds of thousands of demons. The huge number of demons was really shocking. Moreover, the city protection array that Hu Jujio had boasted about looked like it was nothing. It did not seem to have any problem dealing with them. However, it would probably not be that useful against those powerful demon leaders. Many people wanted to escape and cooperate with the demons. They could also contribute some of their strength so that they could spare their lives. However, Hu Jiojio's great city protection formation could not only prevent others from entering, but also prevent them from escaping. These people hesitated outside for a long time but could not find any way to escape. They could only give up on this idea. Now, under the pressure of the battle reports one after another, the nerves of the people in the city were all tense. They could not relax for a moment, afraid that when they heard the news again, the city gates would open and the demon army would pour in. The generals below the city lord manor all had gloomy expressions. They were all waiting for Hu Jiujiu's orders. At this point, there was probably only one way left. Although the demons had more people, they might be able to fight with this protective array. However, what made them feel strange was that Hu Juju did not seem to be in a hurry at all. The situation was already so urgent, but Hu Juju still acted as if nothing had happened. She casually threw these battle reports to the side and stopped looking at them. A new captain of the Human City Protection Team could not stand Hu Juju's sloppy attitude. Therefore, he couldn't help but remind her, City Lord, it's already imminent. The fire is already burning beside your eyebrows. I think you should take a closer look at the battle report. That's right. City Lord, give me an idea. The demons have already gathered outside. I think they're about to come over. What should we do? In my opinion, we should just kill our way out with the army. We have a strong army now, and they have no rules. We might be able to fight. It's to kill all of them and kill these demons until they piss their pants. Let's see whether they still dare to be arrogant. There were many hot-blooded generals among the humans who claimed that they wanted to kill their way out and fight the demons to the death. Most of them knew that the demons did not treat them as equals at all. As long as they charged in, there would only be endless slavery waiting for them. They were unwilling to face such consequences. It was not easy for them to obtain an equal city that was occupied by their human race. They did not want to give up so easily. There were even human generals who stood up and swore, I'm willing to live and die with Ping City. I swear to guard the demons outside the city. They thought that since their attitude was already so firm, the city lord would definitely give an order. Hu Jujiu was a demon. Although they did not know why a demon like Hu Jujiu could bring such peace and prosperity to the human race, Hu Jujiu was still a demon after all. In the end, those who were not of the same race would definitely have different intentions. The reason why Hu Jujiu gave such an order and did not give any exact instructions until now meant that she probably had other intentions. Hu Jujiu could not possibly gather all the humans in Ping City and capture them all in one go. From then on, there would be no power to resist in the wilderness. Hu Jujiu's inaction had already given them many other thoughts. These thoughts were constantly brewing. It was difficult for them to believe that Hu Jujiu, as the city lord of such a human race, would help them protect the fate of their human race. Vaguely, 
There was a barrier between the human and demon generals in the city protection team. They were divided into two factions. There were fewer demons, and they only occupied a quarter of the seats. This quarter of the demons followed Mingluin and sat on Hu Jujio's left. The latter half and the entire right side were all human generals. At this moment, they were hostile to each other and were suspicious of each other. However, as the city lord, Hu Jujio acted as if she did not see everything in front of her. She made her subordinates so chaotic and made everything so uncontrollable. Back then, she was the one who gave the order to defend, but now, Hu Jujio was actually unmoved. The people in Ping City did not know that the demons outside were already in a mess. They thought that the demons had removed the two walls and then all four walls in order to have a better attack. However, they did not know that the demons outside had already lost two lords. Therefore, it was no wonder that they were so anxious now. However, Hu Juju knew these situations like the back of her hand. Li Yuanqing had already killed everyone outside and played the demons in the palm of his hand, causing them to gather in a panic. It looked like they were about to attack, but in reality, their organization was extremely chaotic and they did not have a very detailed attack plan. It was just that they had temporarily gathered under the instructions of the Deming Kong. They did not know if they would attack or not. Hu Juju looked at them calmly and warned sternly, There are already disagreements among the demons. I believe that it won't be long before they panic. At that time, we can retreat the demon army outside the city without any effort. Everyone, there's no need to be so anxious. It's not time for you to go to the battlefield to fight. Hu Jujio's words confused the generals below. They could not figure out if the city lord was stupid. The demons had hundreds of thousands of troops gathered together, yet she still said that the demons were not organized. It was as if the city lord was blind. Why didn't the city lord see this? City lord, forgive me for being blunt, but the situation outside is already extremely critical. You can't use such thoughts to confuse yourself anymore. We're already at a critical juncture. We have to resist. That's right. The reason why everyone is still gathered by your side at this time is for the glory of the human race. There was a faint intention to force her to abdicate. Mingluin immediately stood up and warned the general opposite him, General Liu. How did you speak to the city lord? General Liu snorted coldly and looked at Mingluin. The reason why we're here is to protect Ping City with our lives. It's not like some people who only know how to be dogs behind others and don't even dare to say a word. The conflict between the two sides had already reached this point. The leader of the human generals actually dared to slander Mingluin in public. No matter what, Mingluin was now a general and the absolute ruler of Ping City. However, ever since the human race's power grew in the guards, some dissatisfaction began to erupt. They could not accept the fact that everyone from the city lord to the great general of the guards were demons. Therefore, they began to yearn for their rights. However, the way up was in Hu Jujio's hands. No one could hear their complaints. Mingluin's face was ashen, but he suppressed his temper. General Liu, I advise you to pay attention to your words. It's time to unite the various generals. If we hurt our relationship because of these other things, it will affect the future of Ping City. General Liu seemed to know that he had spoken a little too harshly just now. However, since he had already said it, he had to say it in one go. The cover had already been torn, so there was no need to think too much now. General Liu took a step forward and glared at Mingluin. General Mingluin, I want to ask you why we're still not doing anything when the demon army is pressing on the border. Are we just waiting for the demon race to break through our city and surrender? This isn't the city lord's intention, right? As General Lu spoke, he glanced sideways at Hu Jujio. Hu Jujio left after giving the last order. She had already walked to the small door at the back, leaving behind a weak back facing this group of burly generals. Mingluin stood between General Lu and Hu Jujio and stared at General Lu sharply. General Lu, I advise you to do your job well. What you need to do now is to obediently arrange your subordinates. Is that so? Arrange for my heroic soldiers to raise their hands and surrender to the demons? As soon as General Lu said this, the atmosphere reached its peak. All the human generals shouted. They all wanted Hu Juju to give them an explanation. Hu Juju stopped and slowly turned around to face them quietly. You don't believe me? Although Hu Juju was alone 
and it was just a simple sentence, her aura erupted and completely suppressed their rebellion. All the human generals, including General Liu, took a step back and looked at Hu Jujo carefully. General Liu suppressed the fear in his heart and suddenly took half a step forward. City Lord, I don't dare to question your decision. It's just that I have my own judgment. I feel that the most important thing for the human race now is to kill some of the exhausted demons as soon as possible to reduce the pressure. The other humans echoed and expressed their support for this theory. Hu Jujio smiled gently and looked at them. Actually, the way to win a war doesn't just rely on our heroic soldiers to fight on the front line. We still have other paths that are much easier. General Liu was confused. Not only him, but the others also did not know much. However, Ming Luan had some guesses. In the past, every time there was a crisis, they would always be able to avert it. It was not because of luck, nor was it because they could fight to the death with the other party. They relied on the final decisive person, the legendary sword Immortal. In the past, the sword Immortal would play a decisive role when he showed up. But this time, could a sword Immortal help them tide over this crisis? There were two second-grade formation arrangement realm peerless experts and two first-grade formation arrangement realm top experts working together outside. Could the sword Immortal deal with these four formation arrangement realm experts? Mingluan felt a little uneasy. He used to trust this sword Immortal very much. This was also why he had always been very kind to the humans here and never bullied them. It was because of the existence of the sword Immortal, but could the sword Immortal still help them tide over this crisis? This was probably a question mark. General Liu seemed to have suddenly thought of something and raised his head to laugh. I understand, City Lord. Don't tell me you're still hoping that the Sword Immortal can save us now. You shouldn't have forgotten what kind of existences the Four Lords outside are, right? Can the Sword Immortal deal with them? After all, the human race had never come into contact with Sword Immortals. He only existed in legends and the shock brought by the shocking ruins. Moreover, City Lord, it's not that I don't believe in the Sword Immortal. It's just that with such a huge army outside, I'm afraid the Sword Immortal has already fled somewhere. They did not seem to be in awe of the Sword Immortal, who Juju looked towards a window on the right. Her lips were gently parted, and it was unknown who she was talking to. Everyone looked at the window in confusion. The window was tightly closed and looked ordinary. However, just as they were about to speak, there was a sudden explosion. A round ball of meat shattered the window and projected in from outside. Then another window exploded. Two large meatballs fell into the meeting room with a bang, creating two huge craters in the floor. The meeting room of the City Lord Manor was silent. Everyone stared blankly at the two big meatballs on both sides. The two big meatballs sandwiched them in the middle. They were four to five meters long. What happened? What is this thing? Where did you throw this thing in? Protect the city lord. Only then did they react. They hurriedly formed a circle around Hu Jujio, wanting to protect the city lord. However, Hu Jujio completely ignored him. She flew into the air and stretched out her slender hands towards the two cloth bags wrapped in large meatballs. The two cloth bags flew into Hu Jujio's hands under the suction force, revealing the two bloody heads wrapped inside. One of the heads was a huge bear's head while the other head was a huge wolf's head. What? This is... Xiong Batian and Lang Duancong? Everyone present was stunned. They had never expected such a thing to fly in from outside. Xiong Batian and Lang Duancong were both mighty great lords. Even though they had already become corpses and only had this head left, the pressure from the two of them still made everyone unable to breathe. Everyone carefully went forward to check. After many confirmations, they finally confirmed that these two heads were the two lords. However, how did the two famous figures become like this and die miserably here? All the humans could not understand now. They were all dumbfounded. The humans leaned in the middle in fear. They did not dare to approach the two big meatballs. The dignity emitted by the two things was too huge. Moreover, those two scarlet eyes were staring at them blankly, as if the living great lord was staring at them. This pressure suffocated them. They tried their best to calm themselves down, but how could they calm down when they saw such a scene? Many of them had never seen a formation arrangement realm expert in their lives. In the past, they had only heard of them. However, today, 
They had truly seen it with these two big heads. This kind of dignity really refreshed their understanding. Hujujio threw the two large cloth bags in her hands to the ground and looked down at the people below before slowly landing. City Lord, did you know about this? General Lu's eyes darted around as he hurriedly knelt on one knee to welcome Hujujio. The others also knelt on the ground and bowed to Hujujio. They had dared to argue with Hujuju just now, but after seeing this scene, they did not dare to have any strange thoughts. Hujujio's backing was so powerful that even two formation arrangement realm experts could take their heads amidst a magnificent army. As for them, a group of small humans, they were nothing. Many human generals could not help but sweat. When they thought about how they had actually talked back to such a huge city lord, they could not help but feel guilty. Hujujio had no intention of arguing with them. She advised them, guard your post well according to our city defense plan. This is your greatest contribution to our Ping City. Don't ask too much about other things, and don't waste your time asking me. Generally speaking, I won't answer your boring questions. If Hujuju had said these words just now, they might not believe it. However, after witnessing Hujujio's true strength, how could they dare to say no? City Lord, don't worry. We will definitely do our best to guard our positions tightly. There won't be any mistakes. General Lu answered on behalf of everyone. After Hu Jujio calmed everyone down, she naturally leaves in satisfaction. The chaos in Ping City returned to calm after the generals left. This group of generals was the source of their restlessness. Now that they had seen such power, they did not dare to say anything else. On the other side, the demon army had gathered outside Ping City and surrounded the entire city. They were about to attack, but no one blew the horn. Da Ming Kong and Shi Feng Chun were finally together. The two of them had withdrawn all their array formations. Now, that array formation was useless. However, they did not know if the array formation was meaningful to the two humans. The two of them seemed to feel that this array formation was very important. Therefore, the two of them still watched the array formation. Perhaps they could be used as bait. At this moment, their expressions were very gloomy. Senior Da. How strong are those two humans? How can they be so elusive? Shi Feng Chun was a little anxious now. Although he had lived for so many years, he was still inexperienced in such situations. He had originally thought that he would definitely not make a mistake on this job. How did it end up like this? Shi Feng Chun carefully sized up the Domingkong. He had an idea, but he did not dare to say it out loud. After all, he was such an old senior. It would not be good to provoke him like this. Da Ming Kong seemed to be thinking, but no one knew what he was thinking. I'm afraid we won't have an advantage against them. Da Ming Kong measured the strength of both sides. Since those two humans could kill the other two brothers so quickly, in that case, their strength was definitely not inferior to the two of them. In this way, they did not have any advantage in the upper level. Then what about the lower level? Although the hundreds of thousands of demon army was powerful, in terms of strength, the military discipline was lax and the lineup was not complete. It was probably impossible to count on these demons to break through the defense line below. They had already measured the city protection array in Ping City. Even with their strength, they still needed some time to break through. If the humans below relied on such a huge array formation to defend the city, their subordinates would probably encounter big trouble. It was very difficult for De Ming Kong to make a decision now. At this time, their army had already gathered here. The reason why they had gathered just now was to prevent the humans from breaking through their ranks one by one. Since they had already gathered, they were not in a hurry to make a decision. Shi Feng Chun said carefully, Senior Da, I thought that if we could plan better in advance and not disperse our troops like this, would we be able to achieve better results? At least, it wouldn't be like what we are seeing now. Back then, this decision was made by Deming Kong. The meaning behind his words was very obvious. He wanted to complain that Deming Kong had made a mistake, but he did not dare to say it directly. Deming Kong looked at him indifferently. I'm afraid it's meaningless to talk about this now. Senior Da, don't misunderstand. Of course, I don't mean to reprimand you. I'm just saying that since we don't have full confidence now, shouldn't we wait for a while and see if Lord Black Dragon can mobilize some reinforcements for us? At that time, We'll be able to take down Ping City in one go, and it won't go against Lord Black Dragon's arrangements. 
If they retreated like this, then their hundreds of thousands of troops would be completely admitting defeat to the humans. However, admitting defeat now seemed to be a good decision. Before completely figuring out the strength of the human race, admitting defeat and retreating was a good way to preserve their strength. Domingkong naturally would not let his clansmen use their lives to break through the human race's defense. He had originally planned to let the remaining clansmen of the other two races be the vanguard. However, since Shi Fengchun had said so much, Domingkong dismissed such thoughts. Domingkong sighed softly and gave his final order. That's good. In that case, retreat for the time being. Retreat a hundred miles and camp at Dongming Mountain. We'll wait for Lord Black Dragon's orders. Li Yuanqing stood on a mountain and watched as the mighty demon army surrounded Ping City for a long time before retreating a hundred miles. Originally, he was already prepared that if these demons continued forward, he could use the power of the protective array to directly take down the two lords. However, who knew that the two of them would actually cower in the end and choose to retreat? Li Yuanqing had miscalculated. It seemed that if he wanted to take the two of them down, he could only wait for a period of time. He did not know how the two of them would choose. After devouring the two lords, the blood vine fell silent. The huge energy gathered in his body. The blood vine was also cultivating in seclusion in Li Yuanqing's domain, slowly digesting this huge amount of energy. This benefit had benefited him greatly. After the demons retreated, Li Yuanqing did not intend to continue chasing after them and kill the two of them. Instead, he retreated and returned to the city to rest. Although he did not annihilate them in one go, he had obtained a lot of benefits. Li Yuanqing had to digest these benefits first. Moreover, Li Yuanqing had also signed in for a magical cultivation technique in Lang Duangkong's territory. Illusion Art Li Yuanqing lay on the rocking chair in the small courtyard and muttered to himself about the cultivation technique he had just obtained. As the name suggested, this cultivation technique was a magical cultivation technique for cultivating illusions. There were a total of nine levels. The first level of cultivation could raise strong fantasies and confuse the enemy with the help of the array formation. The second level could shrink the array formation and turn it into a simplified talisman. After reaching the third level, this cultivation technique no longer needed the help of any array formations. With a thought, it could easily transform outer space into anything. From the third level to the sixth level, it was a process of constantly condensing one's illusion. It allowed one's illusion to have fewer flaws and gradually become the reality in one's imagination. However, after reaching the sixth level, the description made Li Yuanqing feel a little dizzy. It was said to turn illusion into reality, but he did not know what it meant. Should he let the enemy not notice any flaws, or should the illusion be that great that it could even lie to himself, or should he really be able to transform the illusionary item into a physical object? Although Li Yuanqing was still studying this cultivation technique, he had only just started. He planned to cultivate this cultivation technique to the third level so that he could have another skill. He now had a huge domain. If this cultivation technique was added to his domain, wouldn't he be able to transform everything into nothingness? This huge power was really powerful. After the demons retreated, the nervousness of the people in Ping City also relaxed. They all thought that they were about to face the final battle, but from the looks of it, it was far from that time. It's the Sword Immortal. It must be the Sword Immortal's protection that made us safe for the time being. That's right. It must be the Sword Immortal. It must be the Sword Immortal guarding me. He let the demons see a huge power and make them retreat without fighting. The people in Ping City had a very strong belief in the Sword Immortal. They believed that this was definitely what the Sword Immortal had done to protect their peace. Even when the demon army was pressing on the border, they still firmly believed that there must be such a Sword Immortal who could save them and bring them to victory. As expected, under their pious prayers, the demons retreated. The demons must have retreated in fear of the Sword Immortal's immense power. Li Yuanqing had only strolled around the market and listened to the topics of the Sword Immortal everywhere. The market in Ping City could be said to be blooming in many places. Not only was this place operating well, but everyone was also very happy to exchange the treasures in their hands. Therefore, the market in Ping City became more and more prosperous. All kinds of treasures were exchanged very frequently. 
Li Yuanqing had so many treasures under his name, and they were all strange things. Everyone couldn't care less about the price at this time. Although the price was very high, they came one after another, making this place very lively. Fellow Taoist, you really can't buy it like this. 5,000 spirit stones is already my bottom line. If you continue to lower it, our shopkeeper will really be unhappy. This isn't my own treasure. This is all what our shopkeeper recovered from outside. I can't sell it to you like this. Zhao Tian had already become a very skilled businessman. He was very natural when bargaining with others. When Li Yuanqing handed the item to him, he did not set any price for it. He had set it himself. Opposite him was a young cultivator. This person was frowning and very hesitant. He was very satisfied with the material in front of him, but the price was indeed a little high. Boss, can it be cheaper? I think. 4,000. Since you like it so much, I'll sell it for 4,000. Zhao Tian looked at the door in a daze and subconsciously shouted, Young master! Young master, the shop has been very popular these few days. Many of the things you left behind last time have been booked. When Zhao Tian saw that Li Yuanqing had personally come to the shop, he also pushed all the things beside him to the side and let his subordinates handle it. Their shop was much larger than before. Li Yuanqing had completely handed the right to operate it to Zhao Tian. Zhao Tian did not disappoint him. He bought the land beside their original address and built a five-story building. The first floor was mainly selling the basic materials that Zhao Tian had bought from the many exploration teams he had cooperated with. Their shop was now strong enough to invest in several exploration teams for those exploration team members to go out and search for treasures. The second floor was mainly used to trade more valuable goods, most of which were materials. The third floor was mainly used for transactions of finished Dharma artifacts. Most of the things placed here were things that Li Yuanqing had taken out. Those who could come up were mostly from some businesses. Not only was Zhao Tian's shop famous, but anyone who wanted to go up was rich. If you didn't have any real treasures, you really wouldn't dare to go up this floor. The fourth floor was used to trade high-grade medicinal pills. The largest amount was the very abundant divine origin pills in Li Yuanqing's hands. Zhao Tian was not in a hurry to sell it. After he made a name for himself at the auction last time, he had sold this pill in batches. Now, it has helped his shop's reputation. The fifth floor was mainly used to receive important guests. Zhao Tian imitated the previous treasure pavilion and divided the rooms on the fifth floor into three areas according to the three systems. Now, Li Yuanqing was sitting in the sky room number one and drinking the spiritual tea made by the maidservant. Young master, I specially left this sky room number one for you. Moreover, I specially copied it according to the decorations in your small courtyard. How is it? Does it feel like your home? Li Yuanqing was still muttering in his heart. Why did he feel that the decorations and settings here were exactly the same as in his room? It turned out that Zhao Tian had such thoughts. He did not care much about the living conditions usually. It was enough as long as it was clean and bright. However, Zhao Tian had done his best to renovate this place. Shopkeeper Zhao is really meticulous. Young master, you're joking with me again. By the way, young master, I've gathered most of the medicinal materials you instructed me last time, but there are still a few that are really difficult to find. Give me some more time. Zhao Tian took out boxes from his storage ring. These boxes were very exquisite. Just the style of this box was expensive. Thinking about it, most of the things inside were priceless. He took out the list as well. Young master, take a look. Most of them have been found. However, I can't find this star sand and the dragon spring pill no matter how hard I try. I asked someone to ask around, but they couldn't find them. Li Yuanqing did not look at it either. He directly put away the bottles and jars on the table as well as the elegant wooden boxes. As for the last two missing materials, they were indeed very difficult to find. It seemed like he had to think of something himself. It's fine. You've already surprised me by finding so much. It's been hard on you. As Li Yuanqing spoke, he took out three or four storage bags and placed them on the table. Zhao Tian took a look. These storage bags were all very exquisite. The patterns on them were very exquisite. It was obvious that they were expensive. Young master is lucky to have obtained so many storage bags of such high grade. 
Zhao Tian thought that Li Yuanqing was just casually placing these bags here, so he had no intention of collecting them. Li Yuanqing looked at him and did not move. Instead, he asked him, What are you doing? Hurry up and take it. These are new things that you can sell at will. As for the price, go and understand the market price more. I don't know much about prices. Zhao Tian was stunned. He did not expect that Li Yuanqing would take out these storage bags that were very spacious for him. Young master, why are you splitting it into so many bags? Can't you just put them in one bag? Zhao Tian was a little confused. This bag had at least a few hundred cubic meters of space. It should be easy to store treasures. Li Yuanqing had casually taken out four. Could it be that there were so many things inside that it would take four to store them? Zhao Tian listened to Li Yuanqing's instructions and probed with his divine sense. He looked at them one by one, and it scared him badly. Young master, where did you get so many things? Zhao Tian almost vomited blood when he saw the scene in front of him. He had never seen so many treasures piled up into a mountain in his life. Moreover, it was not just one mountain. The four bags were filled with treasures. There was not even any free space. Even if these four bags were casually sold, they could be sold for a very high price. However, to Li Yuanqing, they were just a container that could barely hold things. Zhao Tian looked at Li Yuanqing as if he was looking at an immortal. He was really as rich as a country. He believed that even if the city lord manor took out everything, they would not be able to compare to Li Yuanqing's wealth. Who exactly was this young master? Why did he have such methods? Where did his treasures come from? These artifacts were all brand new and not even worn out. They looked like they had been used a few times. There were also pieces of high-level materials. He had never even seen many of these materials before. He had to go back and flip through ancient books to find their origins. Not to mention the countless inner cores. Zhao Tian calculated in his heart. If he sold at this speed, who knew when he would be able to sell it? Why was this young master giving him such a difficult problem again? How is it, shopkeeper Zhao? Are you alright? Zhao Tian finally woke up from his days when he heard Li Yuanqing's call. He looked at Li Yuanqing and said carefully, Young master, are you going to sell so many treasures? Why don't you leave some for yourself? I think many artifacts here are quite suitable for you. Li Yuanqing waved his hand casually. Take these and sell them. I see that the business in your shop is doing well. Work hard in the future and strive to open our shop in Rong City and Si City. Zhao Tian was naturally proud to be praised by Li Yuanqing. He thought about how he had transformed from a small patrol captain to the shopkeeper of such a large shop. Moreover, their shop's business was thriving, and he had the opportunity to stand out in Ping City. These opportunities were naturally given by Li Yuanqing. Moreover, this young master was really unfathomable. His wealth was breathtaking. Li Yuanqing had obtained these things from the demons he had killed recently. Everything else was fine. The main thing was the two formation arrangement realm demons. They had countless treasures on them. These demons had such a bad habit. Regardless of whether it was good or bad, they liked to plunder anything they saw. They even carried it with them every day. Of course, all of them fell into Li Yuanqing's hands after they died. If they had known that they would end up like this today, they probably would not have hung all their wealth on their bodies. Not only had their lives been taken away, but even the treasures that they had painstakingly accumulated for so many years had fallen into the hands of the enemy. This was definitely making them die with a remaining grievance. After the demons retreated, the trading activities in Ping City that had stopped began to become lively again. Li Yuanqing walked to the window and opened it to look down. The people coming and going on the street were in a hurry. They were all very busy and had their own clear goals. The demons had retreated for the time being, and no one knew when they would attack again. They had to quickly prepare some defensive treasures. The intense pressure from the demon army's attack just now was still fresh in their minds. No matter what situation they were in now, they could not bear to hide it. They wished they could turn all their wealth into combat strength to ensure their lives. Li Yuanqing's shop also had a lot more customers than before. Many people were unwilling to come here in the past. Seeing such a huge enemy today, they gritted their teeth and stomped their feet before entering. This was really the treasure pavilion. They could find almost all the various Dharma artifacts they wanted here. Moreover, 
Li Yuanqing had given Zhao Tian a guarantee. He said that as long as they bought a Dharma artifact from here, no enemy would come to take revenge no matter what. Therefore, they could choose without worry. Of course, because the owners of those artifacts were already dead, no one would find trouble with them. There was no problem with this. Young master, look, our business is really getting better and better. We've earned a lot recently. I've already asked the finance department to organize the accounts first. I'll bring the spirit stones we've earned over later. Zhao Tian walked to Li Yuanqing's side and looked at the crowd coming and going below. He smiled at Li Yuanqing as he said, The monthly income of the shop alone was millions of spirit stones. Their income was even comparable to the treasure pavilion. Many of the high-end customers of the treasure pavilion were attracted here. In the end, the treasure pavilion simply reached a cooperation with them. The two of them became partners. Zhao Tian was reporting to Li Yuanqing when he suddenly saw Li Yuanqing's eyes become sharp. Therefore, he followed Li Yuanqing's gaze and looked down. He saw a group of people at the entrance of the building. These people looked like demons. After they gathered at the entrance, they entered the shop. These demons are quite crisis conscious now. They buy things everywhere if there's any movement. Young master, if you don't like them, we can choose not to do their business. In any case, we don't lack these few orders. Zhao Tian thought that Li Yuanqing had something against them. What clan are these people from? Zhao Tian thought about how he had only taken a casual look just now. The characteristics of those people did not seem to be particularly obvious. He could only guess and answer. Looking at their burly bodies, they should be from the Buffalo clan? Li Yuanqing went downstairs, and Zhao Tian followed. He did not know why young master was suddenly so interested in these demons. Could it be that his young master had some feud with the demons recently? Although Zhao Tian was not sure, he still followed obediently. After the demons on the first floor entered, they spread out very quietly and bought goods from the various counters. They did not cause trouble. They spoke softly and had a gentle attitude. The shop assistants were very cooperative. Li Yuanqing walked behind one of them and looked at the things placed in front of him. Most of them were basic materials and many basic Dharma artifacts. Most of the artifacts were only available to humans. The demons were not familiar with the craftsmanship of creating artifacts, so even De Ming Kong and the others used artifacts created by humans. Just as this demon was about to accept all the materials on the table, he was suddenly grabbed by a hand. His body suddenly trembled as he looked nervously at the young man standing beside him. Seeing that the person in front of him was just a very young guy, he sighed in his heart and pretended to be calm. Brother, what are you doing? I'm here to buy something. Why are you grabbing my hand? Li Yuanqing stared at his face and said coldly, You're not from Ping City, right? Their argument attracted everyone's attention and they followed according to the sounds. Zhao Tian stood behind Li Yuanqing as he looked at him in confusion. What was wrong with the boss today? Why did he suddenly get into an argument with such an ordinary customer? Moreover, most of the things this guy bought were ordinary things. Although he wanted a lot, there didn't seem to be anything strange. When the demon heard Li Yuanqing's words, he looked around and suddenly laughed loudly. You humans are really arrogant. Could it be that there's no place for us demons in Ping City? Or is it that only humans can stay in Ping City in the future? Are all the demons not people of Ping City? As soon as these words were spoken, the gazes of the demons in the shop became sharp as they stared at Li Yuanqing with unfriendly expressions. They did not know where this kid came from, but if this guy dared to have such intentions, they would not come to this shop again. Li Yuanqing did not say anything else. He suddenly exerted strength in his hand, and a majestic force broke out of his body enveloping the fellow in front of him. This demon was completely caught off guard. It was suddenly struck by a huge force and its transformed skin dissipated. He revealed his true form. It was actually a huge elephant, 